Everybody who has read the garden or has visited any of our gardens or been to a show within the last year or so knows that there is an awful lot going on at the RHS <laughs> there is at the moment. So, so, so this seems to be a good moment to just recap and see where we are and why we're there and all that kind of thing. So, so, so Wisley, what is happening at Wisley? The whole place is full of builders and bulldozers. I know, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, we started the whole investment programme in 2014 and we're, we're in the middle of creating an amazing new welcome building to welcome you into the new Wisley. So what was wrong with the old welcome building? It wasn't big enough for the number of visitors we now have. So it was built for around half a million visitors here to Wisley. And now, I mean, I'm delighted to say in many ways that we have over 1.1 million visitors last year. So we really need to build an infrastructure that's right for our visitors. And this is new restaurants, new loos, new plant centres, new everything basically. Well, it's going to be the most amazing plant centre. I mean, really very exciting of us being able to support specialist nurseries, British specialists nurseries to be able to have all the ranges that we can actually do to tempt you whether it's shade it's damp it's whatever conditions mm -hmm. really great display area that's going to be substantially larger than the last one the bookshop will be there everyone knows our great horticultural bookshop new cafe much larger than our current one and a fantastic new restaurant so it's really exciting as far as the welcome building itself is concerned although it's a building as we've just talked about most of it is about horticulture whether it's outdoor plants whether it's house plants mm. whether it's gardening books whether it's gardening tools there's some other gifts in there as well but really it is all about horticulture the benefit is for the people who visit and for the people who actually see what's going on as a result of the work that Wisley, our staff, our students, our apprentices do here. And stage two or three or four or five, I've slightly lost count, at Wisley is to build the science building, which is the next. Yes, oh, we start on that fairly soon. So we open the welcome building uh, and that will be next March. Uh, and that's really, I mean, I, I, you know, I've, it's been in the planning and the creation for so long, but the amazing avenue of, of cherry trees that will welcome you to Wisley, you know, that's really fantastic and as that's going through you know from then once that's all open everything goes then we move on to hilltop and as you say that's that's really exciting also what we shouldn't forget all the buildings we talk about at any of our gardens will be surrounded by beautiful new gardens and there are three incredible gardens coming around hilltop uh, and the new science and learning center and those are really exciting you know they're from top class designers and they're really the three around there it's three separate gardens one devoted to health and well-being one is the garden as a nature reserve and one is an edible world kitchen garden what happens if i live in in scotland or somewhere like that the rhs its heart is in wisley but our scientists here that have been researching into gardening science for literally over a century that emanates out throughout the whole country. Everybody can benefit from that. Everybody can benefit from the gardening advice of our advisory team that are based here at Wisley. And literally millions of people around this country and around the world benefit from RHS scientists, RHS gardeners, who actually have all that information put online that is free for everybody to look at. Because, you know, the lovely thing about being a charity is that it's our remit to tell as many people as we can yeah. about growing and horticulture. And then, uh, obviously, Bridgewater. With all the projects we're doing as part of this £160 million pound programme, uh, every time I talk about one, I think, no, this is the most exciting. But I, I think if I was being totally, totally objective, I think Bridgewater has to be, really, because it moves us to, into a new part of the country in the northwest of England, in Salford. They've been amazing partners to work with, both Salford Council and also Peel. The triumvirate that came together to enable this garden to happen. It's going to be such a, a really wonderful addition, and most mm. important of all, it's for the local community. So already we have local community volunteers helping us clear all the saplings away at Bridgewater. They're already telling us what they'd like to see happen there. And so it really will be the first time the RHS, I think, has been able to create, hand in hand with our local partners, a garden for the 21st century up in the northwest. And we've got exciting things happening at Hyde Hall too? It's almost finished. It finishes in a couple of months. It'll be fully open in April and the, the grand opening in June. Uh, really exciting at Hyde Hall, which was in many ways our, our quietest, most undeveloped garden. Uh, right there in the, the rural heart of Essex. Really beautiful new, the Witten, get the, the Global Growth Garden there, absolutely beautiful. Uh, we'd already done some of the work last year on the front of house there, the entrance, the welcome to Hyde Hall, but what's really exciting of what's opening is a new learning centre, a new events building, a new restaurant, and new gardens all around it 
to really with Adam Frost. It just is looking beautiful. So I can't wait for that to open in June. It's an exciting time to be involved with the RHS because I feel that the RHS has changed a great deal since the time I've been involved in it, you've been involved in it. It is a, a thrilling and, and um, it's a journey, basically, isn't it? It's a, <laughs> it's a really thrilling time at the RHS. It is a slightly alarming journey at times when I think about how much we are trying to achieve all at once. And I'm eternally grateful to everyone who's involved that they're, they're supporting us through this and making sure that everything does work well. But it is so exciting of what's coming out. I mean, I really hope, I really hope more and more people want to join us because the more people join us, the more we'll be able to do more of this. Because at the end of the day, the most important thing is about the beauty and joy and fun of gardening.